My name is Irene Titilola Olumese. I am the founder of the Feet of Grace Foundation. The Feet of Grace Foundation came following my own personal story. My legs were amputated in 2013, both of them below the knees, following the complications of lung transplant. I had lived 20 years with chronic respiratory disease and had to have a lung transplant in April 2013. And after the lung transplant, I was in coma. And when I came out of coma, we realized that there had been insufficient blood flow to my legs and my hands, and the legs had to be amputated. It was during the process of learning to walk again, my prosthetic rehabilitation process, that I began to consider how amputees in Nigeria were coping following amputation. I knew how much it cost and I knew what effort it took to be able to learn how to walk again. And I knew at that point in time that I wanted to do something to help amputees in developing countries, especially in poor communities, amputees who will never be able to afford such exorbitant costs of prosthetic rehabilitation. And so we decided to set up the foundation focusing on women and children. It is a good day. Yes. It is a good day. Yes. Hey, I can hear you. It is a good day. Because God promised me that he would give me the feet of grace that would take me to places my natural feet could not have taken me. And that feet of grace is taking me everywhere today to share the story and to inspire hope. But beyond that, we decided to set up the foundation, the Feet of Grace Foundation, that is raising funds to provide leaves for amputees. And that is why you are here today. Feet of Grace Foundation, God will bless you in Jesus' name. Uh, at the beginning, um, before the amputation, I was I was very upset because I didn't bag in for amputation after 20 long years of um, living with this chronic respiratory problem. Um, when I was uh, being prepared for lung transplant, nobody ever thought that amputation would be one of the complications that will follow after. And so when I, I woke up from coma after uh, five weeks, and learned that both my legs would need to be amputated. That was a rude shock for me and took me a while to get my head around that. What has lungs got to do with legs or legs got to do with lungs? But ultimately for me, I always look at the positive side of things. I had life um, back, I had strong lungs and um, with my work with God, I knew that I have to see how this can serve as a gain for others. I strongly believe that our pains will be wasted if we did not use it as an opportunity to bring benefits to other people. And that was what inspired me that um, I want to inspire hope for others going through life challenges and enrich lives by supporting amputees who will not have the opportunity to uh, have to the claims. So my name is Akemi Naomi Tae. I'm a graduate. I graduated from College of Earth Science and Technology in Nigeria Kitty. I study medical lab technician, but presently I'm a fashion designer. It all happened on September 20, 2015, which is Sunday morning. When I had this accident, it I was braiding my knees sister's air outside the house in front of the house so it was my brother it was my brother-in-law who drove the car into the compound and he was trying to repack his car when the brake of his car failed and he ran over me and his daughter 
So this freaky ass dance is the one that caused us to leave. We lost our limb and it and we became an amputee. When I didn't have this artificial leg, it wasn't easy for me. I can't go to anywhere I like. But now that Feet of Grace Foundation have provided room for me, it makes my walk, my walking easy for me to go anywhere I free to go to. They are the one that grants a fund for the, the less privileged or the disability women in the society. I was lucky to be among them. So through that fund, I used it to bought my new industrial machine. Uh, fundraising for um, charity work is an exhausting work. Uh, we need to be able to get people to buy into the cost, to believe that putting their money to the foundation serves a useful purpose and makes a difference for others. And we needed to be able to pitch our story in such a way that it will catch people's attention, steer their heart and get them engaged in our causes. Now, because our work is fully funded by donations from Friends of Feet of Grace and sponsors, um, we do not have any guarantees of what we're going to get in any given year. And the work that we're able to do is based on how much we're able to raise. And that's exactly what it has been like. The more funds we raise, the more amputees we're able to support. And if we are not able to raise as much funds as needed, it means that we have to cut down on the target. So it is, um, we have to cope with uh, donor fatigue. You don't want your donors to get fatigued. You want to be able to keep your donors with you year in, year out. This is a seventh year of operation. And we have had donors that have stayed true with us through the period. There have been once, once a time donors, and there have been those that have been consistent. Our work is to get the donors engaged and to continue to believe in the cause so that they can continue to support us to provide the prosthetic claims to the amputees. But beyond the amputee prosthetic claims, we believe that um, having new limbs is not enough. If the woman cannot afford the drugs for the underlying costs like diabetes or whatever has resulted in the amputation, if it is not an accident, and so empowering the women became critical so that they can regain their financial independence, be able to earn some funds to sustain their home and also to contribute to the society and to be able to maintain themselves. In addition to that, we have partnered with another NGO, a Hoboth Dream organization, to be able to provide education scholarship for the amputees, some of the girls drop out of school when their legs are amputated, especially the young ones. And in that growing phase of life, it is important that they are able to stay in a school that can provide necessary support for their disability. So disability accessible uh, schools is not available, but we have to make the best uh, of the situation that we have on hand so that these children can get good quality education. We, um, we get recommendations from different organizations who recommend an amputee that they have seen. We, uh, we, we, because we are on the social media, the news go from one person to the other. And uh, so a lot of people come in making a request and asking for support. So when we get the applications from the potential beneficiaries, 
we screen them. We carry out a screening process in Lagos and in Ibado so that the amputees come in and we're able to meet with them one-on-one, -on -one, hear their story, because it is their story that we are going to use to drive the fundraising. We hear their story, we also use that same opportunity to encourage them so that they know that there is an amazing life beyond amputation. And the fact that there is an amputee who can move around and do the kind of things that I'm doing becomes a source of inspiration for all for the women amputee, the children as well, because for them to see that an amputee can live a full, purposeful life helps them to see life beyond their amputations. So after the screening, we now order them first focusing on children who are in school, young ladies who are in tertiary institution, and then women, if we still have money, uh, some funds left. So our first priority is for children, boys and girls under the ages of 18 who are still in school. And then after that, we take the next group, the young women and then the older women. So the priority is actually given to those who need to develop their skills and their capacity so that they can make an impact to their communities. Oh yes, um, there have been quite a number that we wish we could help. I think the first amputee we lost who died um, was one of, it's actually the second amputee that uh, lady that we give prosthetic limbs. And we later found out that, I mean, shortly six months after she got the limb, she had um, complications of diabetes and she was unable to purchase our medication. Now, we, we know how much we spent to be able to give her the legs the leg and for her to die because she could not get 10,000 naira to purchase a medication was such a painful loss for us and we were not aware of it and that was one of the things that actually informed our decision to go beyond provision of prosthetic claims to provide socio-economic empowerment for the women. Now we are actively providing socio-economic empowerment, skill development, um, seed funds for the women to set up their own small businesses. Because, I mean, we spent quite a large amount of money to get the limbs, and it's just ridiculous that it will be wasted because um, they are unable to get the medications when they need it. So that was a very painful experience for us. I mean, if we were aware of the need for that minimal amount of funds to get medication, um, we would have been able to save our life if we got the information in, in good time. So what we now have is a support group. We have all the amputees connected on a support group on WhatsApp, and that from there we can get quick and adequate information about their needs and become more responsive um, when they do need help. We have different types of sponsors and donors. We have the corporate sponsors, we have um, NGOs, churches and individual spon sponsors and uh, numerous uh, don donors. Um, for the corporate sponsors, we have Grooming Center for Better Livelihood, Falcon Corporation, Center for Integrated Health Program, uh, Grace and Mercy Household, uh, among others. Um, and uh, uh, we have a number of churches who contribute towards the work of the foundation. The Church for the Nations is a consistent donor every year providing support for the foundation and we have loads of individuals who are families who come together and support the foundation and they are too numerous to, to mention and we are very grateful to every single one of them for the good work they enable us to do. I will say to them thank you without you we could not have come this far. It is because of your generous donations that we are making a difference, one amputee at a time. Today, 46 unique amputees 
have received support from the Feet of Grace Foundation. We have given out 53 limbs, three wheelchairs, six children are on annual scholarship until they finish from the secondary school. Three women have received support for education in one form or the other and eight women have received funds to set up small-scale businesses that can help them to augment their family income. We have come this far simply because you have stood with us for the last seven years and we are eternally grateful to you. And on behalf of the amputees who are smiling again, I want to say thank you very much for helping us make a difference for amputees against all odds. Together, we will go further. Thank you.